on there. Vanessa, are you there? Woo! I am so here and ready. Sorry, I was in the middle of dancing. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I was having a great time. Absolutely. And it's, uh, well, late afternoon getting into evening for you. So you're, yep. you're in that mood. I'm here over at 9 a.m. <laughs> it's 5. Everyone is done with that. I'm having a great time. Yes. I was thinking I probably would be more productive if I kicked off every morning this way, <laughs> which actually I have. Um, there ah. have been times, yes, there have been times that I, uh, you know, have gone to the previous recordings. In fact, um, we should share that um, yeah. Stacy has posted all the playlists from all the past um, get off days wow. and they kind of... Um, and put them all together. So that makes it very convenient that, uh, um, and um, Michael Bridgen, who's uh, the creator of the original Flux, uh, was also posting like, oh, totally working to Daniel's music. So. <laughs> Definitely. I can see people's stuff, like pictures on Twitter. It's so great, I love it. Absolutely. Sorry, I was just doing a time check because um, yesterday things were exciting. <laughs> we kind of fell behind schedule, so today, we are going to keep track, keep, uh, um, but it's, it's a hard, it's hard because um, all the talks are really great. And, you know, some talks only go over like a minute or two, but then that added up. So we want to make sure that today, um, glad to see everybody here. Thank you for coming to GitOps Days. Um, Vanessa and I will be emceeing here this morning. Vanessa is our newest community manager here, helping out the Flux community. And if any of you were at um, KubeCon EU, you got to see Vanessa in person at the Flux booth and <laughs> tweeting all the amazing photos of everybody sharing their shirts and chatting with the maintainers and the contributors. And um, I definitely was feeling FOMO here out on the West Coast and really enjoying all the yeah. photos. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. It was flux tastic. I yes. it. Oh, I think that's going to be your next uh, uh, hashtag. Yep. We'll have yep. to have a flux tastic campaign. Um, so on that note, uh, welcome. If this is your first time to get up stays, um, this has been an event that we had been thinking about um, starting to put together, and then COVID hit, and in a in a way, it made it very convenient that we could do these live broadcasts. Um, if you look back at our past recordings, um, the first year, the very first get up stays. In fact, we kicked it off very excitingly with. Um, Kelsey Hightower, who is, of course, always very exciting and um, really great to hear um, the continued um, level of speakers that we've had throughout these years. It's been um, just so um, humbling and um, really um, gratifying to see um, this time we're really showing more and more um, Flux users, companies that have added themselves to the adopters list to Flux and or Flagger. Um, and are here to share their stories. Hopefully yesterday you heard from um, Orange and uh, Crayon and State Farm. Um, and then Crayon and State Farm are some of the people who will be uh, rejoining to go into a little bit more of a technical deep dive today um, together with other companies such as OSO, uh, Zscaler, um, uh, Safaricom, Ring Central, and many, many more um, who are on various ranges of their journeys and we hope that that's very useful for you so if you are even if you're early on your journey or advanced and you would like to speak at a future event please reach out to us because yes we are engaging more and more with um, our flux users and it's really exciting to hear what people are doing and how they're contributing and building upon flux so with that um, i'll reiterate that um, in past to get up stays we've done a call for papers and we've had a range of um, uh, technologies. We've had friends from many other projects um, when we will continue to do so. For this particular one, it was just so jam-packed with these um, Flux community members that we thought, well, uh, instead of creating a four-day event, as Vanessa was joking earlier, who knows, GitOps Days will be a one-week thing at some point. Um, but right now we're keeping it at two days, and so we felt like, well, we do many GitOps Days events. So maybe this particular one, we will focus on Flux. But yeah, stay tuned. We always um, want to grow the ecosystem, not just for Flux, but for GitOps in general. There's really many, many great practices. But we thought we had so much to celebrate, uh, hence the fireworks, um, on just the advancements on um, what's been happening with the technology. So if you missed the uh, talk with our two maintainers uh, just before this, um, everything's recorded. Um, and I'm not sure how YouTube streaming works, but you might be able to um, rewind yeah. um, and, and be able to see those. But we'll have these open for um, several days um, 
including the fact that yesterday we kicked off with a 90 minute intro to Kubernetes and GitOps tutorial. Um, so that will continue to be open. So if you registered, you have these links and you can get the additional information you need to follow along um, with the tutorial um, and the recording and very generously from the Codespaces team over at GitHub and Microsoft. Um, they are keeping open access to that environment so that you can actually follow along uh, with the hands-on. So make sure you join the Slack and um, get all that information so that you make full use of this wonderful event. Um, so with that, uh, again, an overview, I said there's tons of community speakers and we're really, really excited about that and appreciative of their time for sharing what they're doing. Um, another thing we have to emphasize um, is just how many of the major um, companies such as cloud providers that are providing GitOps to you um, in case, I don't know, your company maybe is a little nervous about open source or you're already using a platform and it would just be much easier to use the GitOps options that are made readily available. Um, it was just so exciting to hear from Microsoft, um, AWS, VMware, D2IQ, Red Hat yesterday um, on how they've made that possible and they've made that possible using Flux. Uh, and I bring that up because I was actually just talking to one of our um, major companies that's just started on their Flux journey. And I said, oh, by the way, did you know that these companies um, are using Flux and in some cases almost exclusively leaning on Flux for GitOps? And they said, um, wow, that, that pretty much just seals the deal for me. <laughs> like that, that, is, that is immense validation for the maturity of this project um, and um, you know, just the, the um, smart design that um, our fantastic um, maintainers have put into it. So um, it's, uh, it, it's great to see people on that journey. If you have any questions about that, um, and especially as you'll hear today, um, security obviously is yeah. uh, security and scale are massive, right? Can't wait for Anais's talk. <laughs> yes, and we've got Anais who will be talking mm -hmm. about that as well. And you'll be hearing from the users. You know, these are major companies um, like Orange yesterday, right? Security, scale, velocity, all those things are just at a different level. So if you're at a smaller company or you're at a similar level, um, you can rest assured that these are um, these technologies are really being tested. Um, and um, being able to expand. And hence, uh, as we talked earlier, um, Daniel Holbach, our uh, um, GitOps Days period um, DJ, um, puts out a monthly newsletter on the updates on Flux. And there's so much there um, and you know how much it's been engineered and in some points redesigned for that um, enterprise level capability. So um, it is really, really fast moving. Um, and uh, as one of our um, users have shared there's always the idea that well maybe we might build something and then when you see how dynamic the community is on slack and how um you know dedicated people are working on the technology um it just makes sense they're just like well why would we build something when there's a whole bunch of people who are very knowledgeable making this happen so it's really really exciting so hence we are focusing on flux uh, and the final mention is um, Flux working with many technologies. Um, if you've heard our talks in the past, we've definitely had Kingdon on our team talking about how, for example, Flux works with Jenkins and almost all the CI tools. Um, we know that if you're brand new to GitOps, some people are concerned, oh, well, I, I've set up my whole infrastructure. Are you telling me I have to tear it all out to um, move over to GitOps? Well, no, not at all. Um, Flux works with many of the tools that you already have. Um, and increasingly, um, you know, supports um, the uh, other tools that you probably have in, in your kit, like Terraform, um, HashiCorp Vault, of course, Helm, Customize already. Um, and now yesterday we had the soft launch of Visual Studio Code, which Kingdon has also been working on. Um, so if you use Visual Studio Code and you're excited to be able to engage with Flux through it, um, well, check it out. Um, we put the link in the Slack. Um, I'll put it in again. And uh, it's a pre-release, so uh, if there are any issues, please talk to us. And um, yeah, no need to give stars quite yet because uh, it's very, very alpha. But it is working, and we're very excited, and we've got people dedicated to make it, um, making it better. So with that, we talked about all these great, exciting users. Vanessa, would you like to uh, introduce our first uh, user speaker for today?